recording <gasps> hello hello it's Gwen it's Tuesday we're in the process of making our project this week which is a cookbook uh, and we are using graphic 45's uh, home sweet home paper from scrapadabadoo.com we're using both the 12 by 12 pad and the 8 by 8 pad now I've been gabbing right here along we're also going to use some of the other elements that come in the collection uh, the uh, chipboard pieces one and two <clears throat> excuse me and eight and a half by eleven paper for the pages we're making a six page book and I apologize I just didn't quite get my recording started soon enough <laughs> oh dear 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 I'm so sorry but anyway we just started we cut I've cut the pages and I'll, I'll go back over and give you the dimensions I will copy this off and print this off and look at oh dear um, the cutting guide you're gonna need six pieces of paper that is seven by nine and a half and you're going to turn that uh, portrait and you're going to score that a half an inch on either side and that's kind of where we are now and you're going to need uh, six pieces of six by six that is the back part of our page this is like so and this this is the back part we need six of those six by six six of these seven by nine and a half then we're going to make a small pocket right here and you're going to need six pieces that is five and a half by three and a half I've used my uh, I've used my uh, uh, punch board to make a little thumb pull uh, the back cover and front cover is six and a half square and that is with chipboard that is the heavy heavier chipboard and the spine is um, six and a half by two inches wide uh, we're also going to have a giveaway today at the end of the program we're going to give away a box of the greeting cards that we made last week in class I cut apart and I showed this earlier a lot of these cut apart excuse me a lot of these cut aparts that we're going to use and then there's recipe cards and I also have some real recipe cards that you could use uh, so anyway we're in process we I've cut all the pieces out and so I'm starting out this is our very first page nine and a half by seven you're going to turn a portrait and you're going to score a half an inch on either side so we're going to do our scoring first you do that on all six pages any questions so sorry I didn't get the recording started I was just gabbing away and now I like to turn this and I know I can certainly read a half inch but I have found <clears throat> that if you do and I don't know it's in, if it's in the cutting what it is but if you do the half inch here and the half inch there they're not always the same I don't know why but I've done it both ways so I always just turn it this is nice heavy uh, probably 80 85 pound cardstock scrap a dab -a do has cardstock certainly and I, do, I I don't know but I think I think it's um, oh what is it I don't know paper studios or I don't know but they do but you want a nice heavy heavier uh, I always use a heavier cardstock for pages other than like Michaels and whatever they're 60 and they're just not quite heavy enough you, now we did that a half an inch on either side if I get out of frame so and holler these we do not do any scoring on these six by six these this is the back part that we attach that oh I'm not finished with the scoring okay besides the half inch on either side <coughs> excuse me you're going to turn this uh, landscape I apologize you, first of all you do it a half inch on either side then you're going to turn it landscape and you're going to score it at five inches I want to make sure that's right uh, at five inches so you're going to have one piece of this if you can see my score can you see eh, kind of so we have a half inch on either side of the long page you're going to turn it this way and score it at five inches because that is going to fold and that's what so a half or five inches down the middle on all six pages I do my half inch on the sides first and then turn it and do the five inches 
Okay, that's the large piece. Now, as I say, the six inch square you don't do anything with right now. Then you're going to take your little pocket page, and your pocket page measures five and a half by three and a half, and you are going to score this a half inch on three sides for your pocket. And it, it pumps it up. I like it better than flat. Uh, I it, it kind of pumps it up, and uh, so then we're going to do this on all three sides. Can you see? We've done this before. It uh, it gives you more room, but yet you just can't put a piece of paper in there, like when you do uh, when you do them flat. I like this too because then you you utilize the whole space, opposed to gluing it down across the bottom because that glue spreads as we know and it takes up and not evenly takes up some of your space across the bottom so I don't know I really kind of like this the best to do them this way so you do this on all six we're going to put these together I might make another pocket for the other side I don't know I haven't chosen any of my papers yet. I just started this late last night because, as I said, I'm busy. No excuse, no excuse, no excuse. This is my diversion. I'm hiding out. Got the phone shut off and everybody's screaming at me today. Oh, my. They started early. Early. Everybody wants everything yesterday. Okay, there we go. That's our cutting and scoring right now. I did not, uh, oh yeah, I, I probably need to cut. We got to do our belly band. I got tons of scraps. Let me see what I got here. Oh, wait a minute. I'm about to lose everything. I'm about to lose everything. Just give me a minute. I think for these two inches. Well, this is an inch and three. You know, it's an inch and a half. And I'm not going to waste. Let's see what we got here. I've got so many scraps. Let's see what we got. I need six belly bands. And let's see. Uh, of course, that wouldn't be long enough. This might be. Aha! Okay, we need six belly bands. Look at the scrap. Look at the scrap. Oh, you can make tags. <clears throat> Excuse me, you can make all kinds of things. We need six belly bands that are five and a half. I mean, six by two. I'm sorry, six by two. Well, this is two and a half. That's six. That's perfect. And I'm going to cut these down. Let's see. Let me see on our book. This is the book we're making, or the the pages that we're making. It's just now yeah, two, but two and a half would be too big. So I'm going to cut these down. They are six inches long, and we're finished with this. They're six inches long and two inches wide for the belly band. So we need six of them. So let me cut these down real quick, so they'll be ready. Two inches. One. Everybody had a great week. We have Hubby Report. He's doing wonderful. He really is. We had a bad ice storm last night. And the poor old soul, he went out this morning to potty the puppy and almost slid off the front steps. My God, I would... Oh, We had a small ice storm, but it had a sheet of ice on the drive and of course now it's all melting and the temperatures come up but I am um, I was worried about my daughter she takes my grandson to school and I I left her a note I got to clean this down I left her a note because she never watches about the weather I I do every night because number one I'm out in it every day and I want to know what's going on when I have to hit the road okay now we have our belly bands make sure that I have six 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we are good to go. I like this book. I like these pages. And it's been a while since I made this. It really has. There again, I don't even remember the paper. Uh, what paper I used. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to score and fold our big pages. Oh, wait a minute. I just, my mouth hadn't shut since we started. Hello. Flowers and tags. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I've been making some little punch out flowers. Jenny, don't, you know. Not very many. <laughs> uh, Jenny, you are not in jeopardy, sweetheart. Believe me. Or Zandra. Okay. This is our long page, and we scored it a half inch down both sides, and then we scored it over five inches. Now, we are going to cut off this half. We're going to start at the, we're going to start at the short side, four and a half inch side, and we are going to cut off up to, I don't know if you can see, we're going to cut up to that score line on both sides. I have light bulbs burn out, and Ronnie can't get on a ladder, and son-in-law's out of town, and I sure can't. And I've got my blinds open, but I'm having trouble. There's a glare. So you're going to cut up to that on the short side. See, this this is your 5-inch side, and from here is your 4-and-a-half. You're going to cut up like so. You're going to... Uh, chamfer those corners. You're going to chamfer this, miter these corners as well. Now, when you fold this up, this is going to fold in like so. This is going to fold in, and then you're going to fold this back. Fold that back. You're going to fold these under because this is going to fit on top of this like so that's going to make your opening uh, to fit on your hinge this folds back and that gives you that extra lip and that's where your pocket makes your pocket on there okay any questions you're going to do this again on all six pages I cut a cut them first. You're going to cut up on the short side and you're going to miter the corner. I always turn it over. It's easier for me to cut on the right. I'm right handed. You could do this with your paper cutter or whatever. It's just easier for me to use the scissors. Not that I'm the greatest cutter in the world. but and There again you're going to fold this back and these under. Or like that. I'm sorry, I did it wrong. And you should bevel your or uh, burnish your edges in mine frame. Okay, there's two pages. Any questions? Well, hi Carol. Hi Marilyn. Hi Bunny. We're gonna have a giveaway today, Carol, if you're around. I don't know if Barry's here yet or not. Now on the short side, don't cut on the long side, the four and a half inch side. You're going to cut and miter. Turn it over. going to cut and miter. This is virtually the basis of your page. You're going to fold in your your tabs like so. I'm out of frame. So you're going to fold in your tabs. And it's going to be like that. And then you're going to fold this back on itself. Like so. And burnish your folds. So it'll be like that. And then that is going to attach to the other piece. Here's your 5 inch. For anybody that's new, we've got a 7 by 9 and a half uh, piece of cardstock. We put it in portrait. Score it a half inch on either side. Turn it to landscape. Come in five inches. Score it down the middle. You got four and a half here. That's going to fold back. You're going to cut off on the four and a half inch side. You're going to cut off these half inch score lines on both sides. 
miter the corner on the end when you get to the end. I turn, can you see? I turn these over as I say because I'm right handed, it's easier to cut. How's everybody's weather been across these continental United States? I want to tell you. I don't know. March came in like Mother always said. If it comes in like a lion, it'll go out like a lamb. Well, it came in like a lion. We had a small ice storm. We got nine inches of snow overnight. I am ready for spring. My poor little baby boy has to go out to school. Of course, well, I did too. I walked. His mother, well, his mother has to take him. It's clear across town, but um, I don't know. Of course, you know, I don't know if you guys, when I was in grade school, I had to walk about four blocks to school. Not a mile, just four blocks. But anyway, uh, mother made me wear uh not a snowsuit leggings i couldn't remember what they were called mother made me wear leggings because it's cold and all these things uh hi fairy knees hi rain and snow here yeah it is here now hi cindy lou hi honey uh mother made me wear le leggings and of course, the other kids probably, I mean, some of them probably did, but didn't. Well, I just didn't want to wear them, but I had to make me wear them. So, at the, there was a business down at the end of our corner. Of course, we lived in a little neighborhood like they used to have back in the day. Uh, and there was a small business or whatever. And I, and it had a lot of shrubs and whatever all around the building. It was about a block and a half from the school. And uh, I would go down there and I would uh, take my leggings off and I'd hide them in the bushes. And then I'd go on to school and then after school I'd come back and <laughs> put them on and go home. I never will forget that. Hi Renee. Hi Renee. Hello everybody. If I've missed anybody, I'm sorry. Oh, we have a nice crowd today. We're going to have a giveaway. We're going to give away a box of the greeting cards that we made last week. Okay, we now have our six pages. Uh, well, we don't have our six pages finished, but we have half of it finished. Now, we folded it in half, and we have folded these flaps in. And I'm going to use score tape, and I'm going to use the 3 8 inch score tape. And we are going to put these down on that six. Uh, there's a way to do this after you miter them that, that I never do it like that. Anyway, uh, we're going to put score tape along this edge and it folds under. And this attaches to that six inch square. It'll be the back of your page, which creates your pocket to attach to your hinges. And it also creates the pocket. To slide in your tag and your recipes, and I haven't chosen any paper. We are using Home Sweet Home from ScrappyDabbyDo.com. Love it! I absolutely love it. Ah, uh, it re I don't know what it I don't know if it reminds me of the French. I don't know. I don't know. I just know I like it real well. Oh, I forgot to mine on the top of that. You might have both of these. Am I out of frame again? The top and the bottom. I will have these typed up with a picture of the completed project. Uh, oh, I know what I started to say earlier and didn't finish. I'll do that all the time. Last week, uh, part of our, and I hope it does this week, I don't know what else to do. I've tried to contact you. Stream. I don't have a special upgraded account so you virtually can't talk to anybody but um, we're having trouble with all of the recording it shows right now that i'm recording it showed last week and the week before the whole time that i was recording now the the week before uh it did freeze up it still said it was recording and i assumed it was well it wasn't i cut off my ends because i tear my tape um so anyway, last week, about the second half, 
froze up. You could hear me talking, but it wouldn't move. And then all of a sudden it went fast forward uh, out of real time. And it just was a nightmare. I didn't realize it at first because I didn't play it back right away. I usually do, but I got busy and I didn't play it back right away. So I had some uh, emails and whatever about it. And then I played it. And of course, you know, it, it wasn't right. About half of it recorded right. <clears throat> so I went back and Sunday, was it Sunday? I don't know. Saturday? Saturday night, Saturday evening. I re-recorded. It stopped at I, the cards. It showed me making all the cards and how we made the cards. But it didn't show how I made uh, uh, the envelopes because I had to make special envelopes. For that size card, the A6 or 6 bar card, and it didn't show how I made the box. And the box, of course, that the cards are kept in, and it had a two inch drop and on and on, depth and whatever. So I went back Saturday evening and ended up, it was really funny because when you go on, it must post someplace that you're on. Because I had about 10 or 12 people come in, and we gabbed, and, and uh, so I finished it, and, and I also. Because I also last week thought if I would send that on uh, to YouTube, maybe it would correct itself. Well, it didn't. But it did go on to YouTube, the first part of it. So I also got an email from a, I've got several uh, YouTube followers as well. And so uh, I, I re-recorded it on Ustream Saturday night. The envelope and the end, you can see it. It's called Part 2 of the, the Cards and Box. Uh, it's on Ustream. That you can go back and watch the second part. And it's also on YouTube. Um, that you can go back and watch that as well. Hi, Top. How are you? Hi, Judy. Yeah, when does it swap? Cindy Lou. Or you could use a cereal box or a cracker box. You can use a cereal box too. Hi, Barry. Hi, Judy. You know, I think you're right, but I don't know how to transfer. Uh, Judy, I think you don't have as many issues on YouTube. Uh, but I don't know how to get them from YouTube. I don't think you can transfer them from YouTube to Ustream. You can transfer them from Ustream to YouTube. Now, uh, which I did, and, and I did the re-record, when I re-recorded the last part of it, I, uh, I, I transferred that to, to YouTube as well, because I've got several followers there, and they had the same issue. Now, we have these taped, folded and taped. Now, we're going to fold our pockets. We've done this as well. <coughs> We did a half inch on the pockets all the way around. But you're right, you don't have the issues on. And, and see, now on YouTube, you can go. Now, the only, Ashley said she would try to, to save, because, you know, Ustream is, after 30 days, they're removing your saved. I've tried to download some of them to my computer, but I've had problems. Um I, you know, I know just enough about these computers, and, and I've had one for 30 years, but just enough to get by to do what I do and my work and, and all. And I'm kind of getting into this. I, I didn't do any of this type of thing, so I don't know. You know, I'm not that savvy. I'm working on it. Uh, but anyway, Ashley said she was uh, trying to send him over there to save him. And they told her they were too big. Well, ours are about well, one to three. Now the other day, and I've done a, I've done, <clears throat> I've made some YouTubes that are, I don't know how big they are. Quite frankly, they're not any three hours. I thought maybe UStream was shutting us off earlier. They shut you off at three hours, like they, they did that one time when we had the uh, blog hop. And I made the uh, the hat mini. They shut us off at three hours. And it's still three hours because I checked on that. I thought, well, maybe, you know, they changed that and they were shutting me off. That's why it wasn't. But that's not the case. 
I don't know why. I real I have a new computer. You know, I don't know. And I forgot to miter these top corners. I gotta miter these top corners on this pocket. Let me make another pocket. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, come on. <coughs> I'm excited about the AT6 change. I don't, I don't know, Carol. When are we gonna start that? And I, <coughs> I'm gonna have a drink. I'm sorry. Well, hi, Miss Berry, the Berry. How are you, sweetie? <coughs> I have a frog in my coat. I watch other people and they just sit and craft and they don't talk for three hours. I don't shut up and probably say absolutely nothing. Okay, that's our little pocket. Now, like we do our little pocket, now we're going to cut this off so I didn't waste tape. Now, I don't know that I saved that much tape, a roll of tape, but whatever. I am going to cut this 45 degrees across the end, like so. It's scary. And I will show you why, if there's any newbies. And then I'm going to miter this corner at the top, like we do. When you fold this in, and fold that in, and that end, that is the way it lays out with the mitered corners. Flat. It's flat. And you can slip all the way to the bottom. Some people don't cut that and they fold that and they fold that and glue that together. That, in my opinion, is too much bulk. <clears throat> so I miter them 45 degrees on both ends, miter the top, and when you put them down, they're nice and flat with no bulk. Now, that's my opinion. But it's kind of scary. And I've seen others do it this way, but most of them do it the other way. But that's okay. I just think you need to eliminate the bulk. I love making books. I love this paper. Home sweet home paper. scrap a dab a do G45. I also have the other artistry. Is it artistry paper? I really like. I haven't made anything with it yet. Uh, I, I may make a... A layout with it like a shadow box layout I don't know I don't know it may take well I'll try to finish this up to a point uh, I started to say last way is really funny because when I watch these recordings I start to say something and then somebody says something and I answer and interject and whatever and then I completely forget it uh, the new little strip that you pull off, uh, I don't want to do with my card. It is so friggin' cute. I can't stand it. <clears throat> it's a little die cut. It's a strip. <coughs> Excuse me. And then it has a tab, and it's like button things. When you open a box, you rip this off and open it. In fact, I might do a small box and use it. To open it up to get to the goodies inside. I made a card and I posted it on Scrap a Dab a Do. Notch the pocket, Gwen, before attaching. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Margaret Ann. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Oh, dear. Yes. Thank you so much, Gavin. Uh, anyway, uh, so I made a card and you pull that, and, and inside I had a. Uh, a gift card uh, that I pulled and I took a picture of it and I put it on I didn't get a lot of comments about it I really kind of thought I would because I think they're so cute and then my son-in-law's birthday I made him a card and used it and put his little money gift <laughs> inside and he called me and he said that is because he loves my cards and his mother just can't get over that I you know make these cards but anyway that's another story but he called me and to thank me of course for the gift but he said I can't believe this card, and he just went on and on and on. And men's cards, you know, are a little harder to make. You don't use flowers and blah, 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 blah. So it really, really, I should have taken a picture. It really turned out really cute. So those those little dies are at scrap a dab -a do and I want to tell you, they are fantastic, and they're so much fun. They really, really are. Hi, Char. 
Hi, honey. How are you? Okay. Thank you, Margaret Ann. Now I'm going to notch the little pocket. Uh, the little pocket has a... Well, that one doesn't. Hello. Where's my... There we go. This pocket on this uh, flap, I'm going to notch. Now you can use a little round... Um, um, punch and do it that way. This is five inches wide. I mean, four and a half inches wide. It's a little bigger. Four and a half inches wide. Four and a half inches wide. So it makes it two and a quarter. Two and a quarter for the punch. There's your punch for your uh, thumb pull. What I do, I've got it like this. I fold this in. I put it down here and I take it over to the uh, two and a quarter inch line and punch it. And that, of course, makes your center. You don't want to do it from there. You want to do it with that fold, the, the finished area. Oh, thank you, Margaret. And... I've done that where I've either had to rip it off or two and a quarter. You girls take care of me. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to put them together. And then after we put them together, we're going to cover our cover. So now you're going to take your six inch I want to see something real quick how I did that. Yeah, you're going to take your six inch piece, six inch square. You have six of them. Well, I made six. See, I already have one made. This is one page. It's already made. There's uh, that. There's your deal. And there's the back. And this is where the belly band goes. But I want to cover this with pattern paper before I put the belly band on. The same with this. And then by doing this with the little flanges, you can scoot your paper down in so far. You don't have to cover your paper, uh, your uh, page before. So you take your uh, six inch square, pull off your tape backing. This is what's going to make your pocket and your opening to attach it. Now I, I do one. I pull down. Now you're going to have a little left over. Don't get excited. You're supposed to. And I do across the bottom like so. Put it down and you're going to have an inch left like so, but you're supposed to. And then fold the top. And I always start on the left side, bring it up to the top and fold it down. And that's off about an eighth of an inch. And the other was too, and I don't know why. I can measure. I'm going to turn that down. It doesn't change anything. But I don't know why. It's semi mort. It's about a sixteenth of an inch or whatever. There we go. Okay, now we're going to take our pocket and we're going to put it down. And, I, and it goes on the inside where the flap folds back. Now I do the same thing. I fold up this bottom flap and I lay it down across the bottom and then I fold it back. I kind of burnish it with my finger and then I fold them down and lay them down. Now this is okay. It could have been just a because you want that to and then I fold it back and I burnish it. You want that to uh, you know lay flat. It's a little off here but I'm not going to do anything about that. I want So here's your page. There is your page. You open it up. There's your pocket. There's this. Here's where it fits on your hinge. This goes all the way through. That's where you slide in your tag. And over here. And then this is where our belly band is going to do after we cover cover it with the paper. So there's, there's number two. I already had one finished. My mouth hasn't shut. Thank you, Char. I made this album a long, long time ago. Um, 
I really did. I love it. I love this paper, and I sprayed it with Linda, uh, not Lindy's, but uh, Prima's gold spray. I don't know if you can see that. I love the paper. I love these pages, and uh, they're all alike. So that's what we're doing today. I might put a pocket here for recipes. I don't know. I didn't cut one for there, but we might put one. But that's the premise of the book, and I didn't get a sample made. I just didn't have time. I keep saying that, but I didn't. Believe me, I'd like to. I keep looking over here from my desk, working away, thinking, oh dear. Okay, now make sure you put this so this folds back like so. Put it down across the bottom, right on the edge. Stick it down, burnish it down, bring this up. And put it down. That one, see, that one fit better. I don't know. I don't know. How would I know? How would I know? Anybody making anything real exciting? I, mean, I see lots of pretty cards that everybody's made. And put things on. Scrappy Dabby Do. Oh! Oh, 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 no, 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 I got that too crooked. I got it crooked. Oh, it never failed. I could not possibly get through one of these without. Oh, it's not really, it's just a, not where I want it. Come on, be nice. I didn't burnish it down. It should be all right. Well, it should be. Yeah, it is. It's all right. Okay. I want it right on the edge. Right on the edge. If you have to make an adjustment, then I make it at the top. Fold this down. I start on the left-hand side. And line up. See, that's perfect. That's just perfect. Now, we're going in. Uh, it's not going to make any difference. Um, okay, the first score. Uh, the first score, Heavenly. Uh, you lay it. Well, okay, you, you lay it portrait. You lay it portrait, and then you score a half inch on each side. Then you turn it horizontal, and you come in five inches. Oh, do it this way. Do it this way, and do a half inch on each side. That's your nine and a half by seven. Do a half inch on each side. Turn it, and then come in five inches, and that's going to leave you four and a half inches here, and that's your score to fold back with your flat. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Marianne. That's it. Now we're going to put down our pocket. I kind of boogered that a little bit. I like this book. I like these pages. And it's been so long, I don't know. I just made it, I think. I don't know uh, if it's, I don't know. I just, I really don't. If it's somebody else's, I'd say, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't do a lot of, once in a while I do, but. Fold them in, bring it in and fold it down. This little pocket, too, could have been. A little narrower. Uh oh. I tore that. Okay. I'm not going to worry about that. We are not, but I got to fix that. It'll cover up, but I tore it a little bit. I was going to. So that pocket could have been a little narrower. I don't know now that I can do anything about it. And it's really, I'm not, it's really not going to make that. It's just about a sixteenth of an inch too long, but it's going to be okay because not much I can really do now. I get glued, but it's going to be covered up with paper. I hate that. I mean, I cut it and measured it and all these things. That's what I say these 
and that's one reason I flip my paper when I when I uh, do a scoring on each side like the half inch I turn the paper simply because that's got sticking that's kind of showing but that's it'll be alright I hate to have to repair something when it's virtually new some of that sticky off if I had some powder, I could put powder on. That sticky is going to interfere. Oh. Well, I'm really boogering it up now. Wasn't that bad? Okay. I've got my. That'll cover up the paper. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, and that's going to show. Mm -mm -mm. That is going to show. I don't like that. I may have to make another one. This is really getting to be a mess. Yeah, I'll make another one. Okay. I messed it up. Okay, now as I say, make sure this is going to fold back. Put this on right, fold this under, do one at a time. Or that's the way I do it. It's easy for me. Put that down. Go up here. You line up that corner. Now that come out just perfect. See if we can see this is, is that, no, see that one's fine. I don't know. <clears throat> you get off on the cutting. I, I have to do another page. And I don't know if it's me or the cutter or what. But you want this not to overlap your score line over here. Now, it'd been easier, quite frankly, to overlap that score line a little bit. And uh, re-burnish it. Then, see, because I can <laughs> I have to make a whole new page. So there, because you want that just at that edge. And see, now I could have moved that over a little bit. I mean, they're not perfect. It's not die cut. It's you cut. You're cut. Make sure it's that way. Turn it over, lay it down, open it up, burnish it down a little bit, like that. Fold this under, and I just I lay it right on that edge, and then lay it down. See that one's fine. Why do I have an extra? I'm glad I do. I have an extra. See, I made a page, and then I started cutting things out, and I cut them in six. I don't need six. I only needed five. I got an extra pocket here. Well, that's okay. I don't need it. There again, fold it up. Now, this one appears to be really long. Mm. Yeah, that one's. See if I can. Yeah, that's too long. I'm going to see if I can't score that and fold that in a little more because then I'm going to make another one. Fix anything. Enough time and money. Ooh. I've always said that. What do you do? Why don't you fix it? So I brought that. Now it's stuck. I brought that score line in a little bit. And that'll take care of it. 
because that was a little long as well. I'll put this down on the other side. Put that down like, like so. Bring that in. Like so. There we go. Perfect. I should have done that to the I just re I just re uh I made my score line. Um, I should have done that on that other one. So the mess around now. I got to do another page. Okay, there are. There's two. Gosh, I wish I could fix that. I mean, that's gonna be covered up, but it still really looks bad. Three, four, five. There's five. Hmm. Okay. I might as well do it and get it over with. Now we need a six by six. I don't know. This may be six by six. Well, that's six. Is that six? Ah! See, I did an extra simply because I already had one finished and uh, so okay now we're going well you'll see me do this so this is going to be nine and a half by seven so for you that were a little late we're going to now score. We're going to put it in portrait. And we're going to score it a half an inch. Now I use I use uh, a stylist. It's a Martha Stewart. Did not come with the punch board. I, the one that came with this punch, or scoreboard is a nightmare in my opinion. I tore more paper with that. This is a, a Martha Stewart but it has a smaller ball and a larger ball. Now these aren't the largest or the smallest but uh, on heavier paper and paper like this I use the small one. 80, 85 to 110 pound paper. On the lighter weight 65 pound like Michaels and whatever use the bigger one because the smaller one can cut and tear can cause it to crack more readily when you turn it that type of thing. So now we've got the seven inch side. We're going to score it a half an inch on each side. And I turn it because I, I want to keep it square. But And then you're going to turn it back portrait and you're going to score, come in five inches. And that's going to leave you four and a half inches on the right hand side. If you can see, see, there's the five inches and it, there's the other side. Now, you're going to take the short side, this is the short side, this is the 5 inch side, you're going to cut up your half inch score line, you're going to cut this off, core up to that, cut up to that score line, and miter your corner. I turn it over because I'm right handed. We'll cut up that half inch line, or half inch uh, tab, and miter your corner. Then go up to the top and miter your corner as well. Now I fold them in. You're going to fold these in like so. And then you're going to fold this back. And when you put it down on your 6 inch square, just like we just did, it's going to be like that. And you put it down and this is your flat. This is what makes your pocket on either end. This goes on your hinge. And this is for your pocket that slides in. Any questions? Does that help, Emily? What's sad? Oh dear, what's sad? I'm reading. <laughs> okay, what's sad? Very something happened, it's sad. Not all my stuff, but a good chunk. What happened, Barry? Barry, what's the matter? Well, honey, I missed it. I don't know what happened. I'll talk to you about it later, I guess. 
I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just gabbing away. Are there any questions? Well, that kind of helped because you didn't see me cut those. Now, we have the pocket and we have the, now this is the six inch square. If you're going to put score tape or some kind of adhesive, you can use wet glue. Margaret Ann. Margaret Ann, I've been using more wet glue than I did. We'll put score tape across here. Like so. And I don't cut it as I go. But then I go back and trim it. Six to one, half a dozen to the other. I just tear it. It seems faster. I don't know. Like when you do this, it would be faster. It's long. What is wrong? Okay, now we have that finished. We are going to fold that in like so. Pull off your tape backing. Not going to get this done today. Not going to get it finished today. Now, when you turn this over to put it down on your six inch uh, page, make sure that this folds back to the left okay and this is six inches you're going to have a little bit left over but that's the point and you're going to put this down on the very bottom stick it down I open it up and burnish it it's going to be like so then take your top and I always start over here at the left side put it down and stick it down okay now that folds back like so and this is open and this is open open it back up and then here's your little pocket that I screwed up I'm glad I had an extra one. I had, as I say, when I, I made a page last night and I put it together, and then I started cutting it out, cutting them out. And now let's see how big this is. See, that's a little big too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same thing. I am going to rescore. I am going to rescore this a little. It's a just about an eighth of an inch too wide <coughs> excuse me now I'm going to use my little tip and I don't know why the others some of the others but anyway see I rescored it I'm going to fold it down like so I got a little crooked <laughs> Lord whatever okay we're going to do the bottom Put the bottom on there like so. I'm going to do this left side. Put it right down on that fold line. And then bring this all the way back in because you rescored it. Or I rescored it. You may not have that problem. Hope you don't. And now this one I got a little too much maybe. Yeah. Whatever. That is not perfect. I'm not messing with it anymore. See, that is just a little too much up there. <laughs> Come on, be nice to me. I am an old person. I'm not doing this over. I still needed to fold. I see I got that just a little bit too much at the top. There we go. It's perfect. Well, I don't know that it's perfect, perfect, but it's fine. Now, that's all of our pages. Dear word. <clears throat> Let's take a break on the pages. We are going to cover our... Now, I, have, I haven't chosen any paper for the cover or the pages, quite frankly, but it's not going to be a problem. What happened? Oh, let me throw that away. Finished with this, I think. Well, I don't know. I'm going to wrap it. I got all these scraps. And our directions, I think we're finished with. Um, uh oh, this. Let's see. 
Okay, here we go. Oh, there's our belly bands. I don't want to lose them. Get them mixed up with this. Put those over there. Okay. I'm going to tidy up and i got to have some tea. Any questions? You girls do it. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm sorry they're filling the thoughts on the fan four by eights instead of each on a dollar. Well, they got smart and started putting the thoughts on the fan four by eights. I don't know if. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Now we are going to choose our paper for our front. Six and a half. Your, your pages are six inch square. Six and a half by six and a half. Two inch spine. Um, I'm going to pick some paper. Oh, what am I going to use? I like paper on the outside. Oh my God, look, I, this is just more than I can deal with. That is, look at this. This reminds me of a checkered tablecloth. May use that. I love it. That's too plain. The blue is pretty. The blue is pretty. That looks like a quilt. Beautiful. The green, I don't want the green. Uh, this is pretty as well, but that's got, look at that. Look at that. Ah! And that. And that. That's the big main page. I just always hate to use that for whatever. It's gorgeous. Oh, let's see. I ran out of tea before the show. Tried to inhale a sandwich. What do you think? Do you like this for the outside for the for the and I like it more plain so we can add all these gorgeous. I gotta have a focal on front. I love that. I could put that on chipboard or we have the chipboard. The homes I'm gonna use this. I I if I use that home sweet home. I can't I'm running out of room like that. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna use that. What do you think? What do you guys think? Hi, Fran. I didn't know you were here, honey. Are they blue? Barry, I have this. Love the paper. I have to buy it soon. Cindy, it's gorgeous. 